Is the sound sounding too muffled or something? No, everything's great. Anytime. So how do you interpret the story of ecstasy? Um, a chemical romance is about capturing, from my, from my perspective, it's about capturing what the life feels like from inside the minds of the people that are living it. From the outside, it would probably be a little confusing. Why do people abuse themselves this way? How do they keep going? How do they go around the clock? What's the purpose? What's the long range goal? But Irvin manages to bring out the inner workings, the, the sort of the machinations and the, the logic and lets you viscerally kind of fall from one episode into another in a way that starts to make sense. And again, I can relate to that as an actor, as a musician, as a whatever. Life never really makes a lot of sense. You kind of can be making plans for something and they'll be completely disrupted by another opportunity or a change in plan or whatever. So it's about people that are doing the best that they can under the circumstances and then trying to push it a little further and say, you know, one of the things about all of Welsh's books is that he's kind of attacking the establishment and the status quo and he's attacking inertia and he's attacking boredom and ennui and just sort of checking out and accepting that what's going on is enough. So he looks at people who live on the extreme and who are pushing for something. You know, sometimes they fail, sometimes they end up ODing and dying and getting into really gnarly, embarrassing situations. But some of them end up going for a really wild ride. And um, I, I think that he's interested in, in feeling those, those catches. How do you think it compares to, to train spotting? How do I feel our production compares to train spotting? The, the story. Uh, well, the main difference between ecstasy and train spotting is that train spotting is dealing with people who want to feel nothing they want to stop feeling and they're doing a really hard drug that has a very different um, long-term consequence. Heroin is brutally addictive and very hard to kick. E is not an addictive drug per se. It's just, um, it's, it's there for enjoyment. It's there to actually feel something specific, which is to feel good and delicious and, and, and you know, tactile and, and all of that kind of stuff. So Im implicitly, the two stories are going to be different. They're sort of dealing with people who have different aims for the drugs that they do.